We're able to take this, punch this up and over to eight feet so that when you're in here and you're doing your business, this load isn't bothersome, you know, because you're sitting down and now it feels no more normal. But when you step away from your business and you're over here, it now feels like a normal space again. And we both knew it was a really good idea, but we really didn't know how it was going to feel when they actually punched it up. And of course the contractor's like, cha-ching, more money, more money, because now he's got to relocate everything that was up here. Oh, it's in here, really. Mostly it was just the relocation cost of moving the roaches from one place to another, <laughs> but which is very expensive. But nonetheless, when he finished it and we walked in, and my buddy, like I said, he's like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, he's like, wow, what a difference. And I was like, that's what, that's what we as interior designers bring to the table. Because I've been saying from the start, this is unacceptable. And they're like, no, we can't afford it. I don't care how much money we have to spend to get this thing to go up. You, you, get, a, you get one of our, our residents who happens to be six foot nine, and we have lots of them, they're not going to feel all that great walking into this bathroom. They already have to duck to get under the doors. The last thing you want them to do is to be in there doing whatever business they need to do, like they're hunched over, like they're like 90 years old. So, um, because... That brings a whole other set of problems to the table when you're a male in a very enclosed <laughs> space. And you ladies can figure all of that out on your own. Because normal men can't figure out how to hit it. What do you think hunched over and pissed and very upset, because it's on camera now, can do, right? Sometimes I forget. Anyway, so any questions on that? Next, our next question. Let's sit that. Space behind the front door. Where? What space are we talking about? The one with the X in. I don't know where the X is. It's the Where? Bed bedroom closet. Oh, this thing. Yeah, that's the closet. I mean, uh, mechanical closet. But, yeah, it is a closet. But so is there some type of it's where the air conditioner is in this particular space. That's that little door, this little opening right here. Yes. Okay. That is a vent, you know, where your intake is for your return for your air. Yes. You know, where it sucks it in. Most of us have them in the ceilings. Um, yeah, that's okay. sucking it in and all that. What they're not showing you is is. Well, no, on this particular unit, all of the mechanical stuff is on the roof. It's only a piece of duct that drops down. Okay. So they don't have to have a door to get to it like we do in our spaces. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know about this until I went to California and then sat in one of their apartments. Then I figured out what was going on because they take their air conditioning units because it's so hot. And rather than compass them inside an enclosed space or behind a wall or whatever, they stick them on the roof so the air can go through it. And so all of the ductwork drops down, but there's nothing in it. So, not all of them, but the particular one I was there. So that's how I knew about that. Next question. Somebody will have to refresh my memory on that one because I know I said that once already and I don't want to. Not the outside wall. I know, you, but outside this, wall. this wall. I'm going to come to that in a minute. You mentioned outside wall. The outside walls were eight no. inches, right? No, yeah. not that one. I know, but hold on. Outside wall was eight inches, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what we said? No, Twelve. Well, there was one eight. No. Eight one inches, one right? With the brick wall. ones being adding four more to give you yeah. 12, right? No. Run that by me again? I thought the one on the left was yeah. 12, but the rest of the outside walls was eight. eight. That one? Yeah, that 12, one. 12, and then the rest of the outside is eight. Eight with the brick, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 
So four inches for brick and then eight inches for the CMU gives you 12 inches, right? So you said 10. 10? <laughs> you said six inches for the exterior. Oh, 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 right, 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 yeah, she's right, she's right, she's right, she's right. The, uh, let me say that again, she's right. Sorry. No, it's okay, because I was just like, it's, it's not the note. Sorry. Yeah, I copied you. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. She's still not catching it. You're being sarcastic. I know what you I don't like it when they ignore me. <laughs> Students ignore me. That's not good. All right. She's correct. The, because it's wood framed, there's, the wall is six inches and the brick is four inches. That's where the 10 came from. Okay. What's that? That's the only thing in it. So it's not eight inches? So it's 10 inches. Okay. So if we have eight inch walls, we're going to do that. No, no, I really don't want to change no. it again. No, you don't have to change it. Okay, remember what I said. I'm not looking to see that you mer mer uh, can copy a drawing. I'm looking to see that you can draw a floor plan, which means when you put a measurement on that wall, right, and you're going to have to put a thickness on that wall, because that's, I got to know how big it is, okay, and we're going to build that wall with our wall sections, okay, in a couple of weeks that it's accurate. So if when I lay my scale on it, if you tell me it's eight inches, it's eight inches. If you tell me it's 12 inches, it's 12 inches. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now, back to the original question, the toilet and the wall, which is our plumbing wall. Correct? Okay. okay. Be this would be our plumbing wall here. Okay? okay. So this is where all the piping's coming in. So this will be your six inch wall. In theory, it would wrap around for the toilet because the drain, remember our drain issue? Okay, everybody with that? So you're gonna make this wall and this wall six inches. Okay, same thing over here, which is already six inches. You can see it drop down. And these are on the exterior wall, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. This one? The bathtub and the mattress? Here? Yeah. See where the Here or here? Cargo area? Cargo area? Not the sink. No, not the sink. The uh the tub. The tub. What about the tub? It's on the side. Well, it's off the wall. The little wall from the closet. Here? What about it? No, not on this one. The reason is, is that the drain is in the floor, so there's no way to worry about it. Well, unlike a toilet, right? No, a toilet's got it in the floor too. What? You got it? Okay. Correct. Correct. Technically, this floor, the toilet drain is in the floor, okay? Oh, hold on, I'm getting to why it's six inches here and not here, okay? You have to have a clean out, okay? That pipe that we talked about that's four inches in diameter, can't go into a four inch wall, and I told you how it waved all the way down the hallway, was the clean out. The clean out has to be at the toilet. You have it here, you don't have it here, okay? Because this wall is not the same thickness, okay? This wall is six inches because you got all the plumbing coming in. Mm. Okay? Does that make sense? Six. Six. Okay? Over here, this is already six. You don't have to worry about this because sinks only have an inch and a half drain. That's going to go through a regular wall. Okay? A three and a half inch wall. Same thing with the tub. It's only a, an inch and a half to two inch drain. So it will go through the wall. But this is actually in the floor, this drain and this drain. These go through the wall. Same thing with the shower. Shower will have a four inch drain, but it's in the floor. So you don't have to worry about that. I know it's complicated. So you would actually draw those as six inches, not yes, four the, inches? Yes. So ultimately, at the end of the day, you know why we're doing six inch walls, right? For the drain. I mean, for the clean out, right? Okay, 
And the, at the end of the day, this wall is six inches, not because it's got a clean out in it, but because it's carrying all of the plumbing. Okay? So it gives, just gives the plumber more room. They can do it in four, but when the pipes pass each other and things like that, their holes in the wall in the studs can only be so close together or so far apart before the stud loses its integrity. Mm -hmm. So that's why we give them the six inches for in, in that wall with all the plumbing passing, okay? We have six inches here because we have to have that clean out for the toilet that we can get to. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's yeah, why that this wall is six, this is six. Over here, on the other hand, we have our six inch wall because it's identified right there. Mm -hmm. See how it drops down? Mm -hmm. See that? Oh, See okay. how it's dropping yeah. down right there? Okay, so you got your six inch there, so you can get your pipe in there, your drain, your clean out. Here, because it's just a regular wall with only two sinks in it, you're not going to have the issue of pipes passing each other. Pipes are going to come into the wall, and it's as one pipe, and it's going to head out both ways. Same thing here. It's going to come in here, and it's going to head out both ways, one to each valve for the tub and for the shower. Now, in this case, they put the, the other one over here, so... Okay, so the one out there, the shower is going to be six inches too. This one? No. This is just a regular wall. Okay. Yep. Everything around here, even if it wasn't the exterior mm -hmm. perimeter of it, would just be a regular wall. Because okay. you're only putting in one hot, hot pipe, which is going to be half inch, and a, and a cold pipe, which is a half inch. And then a two and a half inch string. I mean, so you're that. saying if we didn't do the six inch wall over there, we should. Where? Should At the tub? The oh, here? Yeah. Yes, you should shave off just a hair and add those two inches to it. Now, you could rely on the thickness of your pencil and just put a dimension line on there that says six inches. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> well, if I go over there and measure it, it's probably not four exactly. It's probably four and a half, five, five and a half because of the pencil thickness. Oh, yeah. Okay? So if I re look at it and measure it, it, because you're dealing with pencil, it really isn't, um, isn't as accurate as a computer would be. Am I making sense at the moment? Okay? Because... Where, where does your six inch start? On the outside of the pencil lead or on the inside of the pencil lead? You know? And the pencil lead is going to be way thicker than your standard line in a, in a computer. Go ahead. Here? So the, wall, the six inch wall would extend over here. Here? This one? The, which bathtub? Yeah, over here between the kitchen and the. Kitchen. Okay, so here. Six inches, six so now, inches. So now that wall, when it goes that way, it's going to stay four inches. But when it goes to the bar, it's going to Here? Yeah. You're going to basically take your two inches that you need out of the bathroom. So you're just going to erase this interior wall if you've done this at four inches in this wall. And you're basically going to erase them and you're going to put it in as six inches. That's all. What you're going to find is going to be on the other side of the darkness of your pencil lead. What about the walls if you wash them dry? No, you don't have to. That, that can be four inches. You know that pipe is like the dryer pipe. Mm -hmm. It goes out outside. Yeah. So, in this case, this dryer vent is going to go right out this wall to here. If it's an apartment type thing, they'll run it up or they'll run it whichever way they need to, to, to for code but it doesn't have to be because they'll run a three inch metal pipe once you connect that big hose to it it's a three inch pipe not a not a four inch okay for most applications